Good evening. I'm Jeff Watson. That's me and the Harrier just dropping in. And uh, we're sorry to say that Clive's off sick tonight with a nasty bout of food poisoning caused by a dodgy hamburger, so tonight I'm mining the store. There is no truth at all in the rumours that Clive is in Monument Valley in the United States. Here is a recent picture of Monument Valley, and as you can see, there is no sign of Clive unless he's hiding behind a monolith. There is also no truth in the rumour that he's attending a reunion of 064 tank locomotive drivers at Dumbula in Victoria. Although there have been unconfirmed sightings in Java. Could this be our man? No, perhaps not. Well, no, Clive is in fact not a well boy and uh, we wish him well. Uh, we hope he'll be back tomorrow night. But uh, among our main news stories and other items of interest tonight, the death toll and the damage continues to rise in the big bushfires in California. As well, the latest on the leaked cabinet document which predicts growing unemployment in Australia, the turmoil over Sir, Sir Joe's mistrial in Brisbane, the new hopes for more hostage releases in Lebanon, as well as the highlights of last night's win by the Wallabies in Ireland. And also, how America's top fighter pilots, excluding me, keep their hand in even when they haven't got a war to fight anymore. And a special anniversary for Olivia Newton-John. Well, Israel has set the scene for the release of at least one more Western hostage by freeing 14 Arabs held in an Israeli prison in southern Lebanon. Islamic Jihad says it will release one of the Westerners within 24 hours and it's thought it's likely to be Jesse Turner, the American who was kidnapped five years ago. Meanwhile, Israel's cabinet has voted 16 to 3 to join peace talks which will start in Madrid at the end of the month. <laughs>